Hello, welcome to the channel. This is the Baron. I was going through my sealed product and I found another box of this and I have still not hit a force of will after opening up, I think, a case of draft and one collector box. So at this point, this box is only worth about $100. I actually paid $150 for it. So I'm just going to bust it open and see if I can get anywhere close to my money back in cards. A lot of the tutors are starting to go back up. And then, of course, if we can actually hit our force of will, that is still like a 40 something dollar card, almost 50. So let's see what we can get. Um, I don't know about these. It's been a while since I went through them. I think with the draft, we're just looking at all the way in the back. And we're going to start off with a mythic time stretch full art. That is cool. Um, a chain lightning retro and a land retro and a token. Let's keep the retro separates. So I guess I'll need another another stack. Ooh, counter spell. Well, there's got to be a stack for cool stuff, I guess. And going through the uncommons here. And then we have a land maze of if, uh, which is just a rare. And then we got our retro frame. And a lot of people like the retro frame land, so I'll pull those out. I don't play with them. I know another product had them. I think it's Commander Masters has them in foil. We got the uncommon, uncommon, rare. We got a gateway. And then we have a retro girl there and then we have a foil that's our first foil and we have the retro so yes um how can i make things better so we'll just do some retro cool stuff rares mythics and throw the foils right there get rid of that didn't really give myself any room here so it looks like I don't remember if there's any good uncommons. Uh, we've got another mythic, which is an angel. And then we've got a retro instant. Retro frame instant. Put you up there. And we have a land. So pretty interesting. I don't know if that's good or bad. We're popping so many mythics right off the bat. Then we got a retro foil land rare, and then a goblin for some reason, but that's not retro foil or retro, and then retro frame land. Threw me off. All right, right into the uncommons, and what do we have here? A rare. A retro foil, our retro, I keep saying retro foil, retro, there's a nice foil. Keep seeing the foils in the back. And a retro land on a token. All right, so we got some mythics so far. We have no tutors until now. And I guess, let's see, let's take our retros and stick them down here and put our tutors up top. We definitely want that in the camera view. Keep an eye on our tutors. On our tutors and our mythics. We'll swap spaces. Yep, I didn't plan this out. As you can tell, there's stacks everywhere. Get into our uncommons. And uh, Mystical Tutor. So we went from a retro border to a regular border in two packs. And then there is our land. That's crazy. Guess that maybe helps us out here with value. And then we get something that has no value. So we'll put that there. 
there. We got a retro there. Then we got a Sphinx rare foil. So we got a bonus, bonus rare in the foil. And we have a rare Overmaster again. And I don't remember if that's the same exact one. Retro foil. Let me see. Is that was yeah it's the same exact one so it's not even a retro foil or anything a retro frame 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 people foil on the brain all right there's another counter spell that i like we got an uncommon high tide full art that's sort of cool we'll stick that down there and then we got a divine I can't remember, is that? Uh, yeah, I think that's just rare. And then we got a common and then retro frame. Oops, token goes over there. All right, last pack, the first stack. That was very confusing. And we got another Maze of Ith, this time in the full art version. And then now we got a retro frame, counter spell, retro land, and that's it for the first stack. Move those out of the way. So first deck had two tutors and two mythics. Let's see if we can do the same or better. And we are going to start off with a rare. Just go right to it. Retro frame, retro frame. Deep Serpent. Uncommon, uncommon, and we have a rare Cat Beast Spirit. And then a retro and a retro. And there is our rare Grim Lava Mansar. And then we got a chain lightning in the foil and a rip of the land. So, so far we haven't really seen anything of value. And there is our second divine, but this one is not retro. So at least there's that. So we got a regular and a retro. Retro, retro token. Used to the duplication with the different versions, but not the same version. All right. Oh, swords. That's a good one. You need to keep that aside. And wow, just right into another one, back to back. All right. We are definitely not making our money back on this box. And we did get a worldly tutor, so that's good. We got our third tutor in a retro frame. But we definitely need some higher dollar cards here. Rare retro frame. That's a cool retro frame foil. got some kind of full art thing coming up all right we got an uncommon and then we got an oversold cemetery in the full art we got a retro that's what i need is a force of will in the full art and we got a rare land retro foil Only three packs left in the middle. We haven't pulled a mythic and we only got one tutor. Uh, we got the library. So we just got our first mythic out of the center pile. 
think that's supposed to be a retro frame, but man, it sure doesn't look much like it. I only want the ones that really look retro -y. And then we're going to go into a spinal embrace rare. And the last pack of the center row. We're definitely getting a foil in this one. We got a rare Windborn News, and then we got a retro foil Gamble, which that one is decent. And that is it for the, we don't need that card, for the second row. All right, now oh, we need to be on the value side for sure. A lot of playable cards, but a lot of cheap cards. And overgrown cemetery in oversold cemetery in the uh, regular version. So that's two of those. So it has doubled up on quite a few rares. Like to see some good mythics and uh, some tutors. And we got another land. We got a common, we got a foil, and there's our retro land. Let's move this because I'm just making a mess out of things. Running into our stack of rares. Very light on the mythics, I would say. And rare. So we got a dragon. Okay, that's good. Retro, retro, token. And we got a Grim Lava Mancer in the full art now. Because we had already pulled one in regular art. So let's just take a second to look. We got Grim. Oversold. There's the action, we had it in the retro. What else did we do? Maze of Ith. We got Maze of Ith in the full art. I know we got, we had just pulled Oversold in the full art. So yeah, lots of duplication on the different variations, but this one's one of the worst because we got one retro and two regular. And then that one, we got two regular. And uh, the lands are doing pretty good. I guess we could separate the lands. Harbor, Woodland Cemetery. Doing pretty good on the lands there. I know we got sort of a mess going on now, but there we go. This sort of shows the duplication in the box, the low end rares for sure. Well, that's cool. And we have a rare enchantment. But I don't even remember that enchantment. So that's, I guess that's good because that's, haven't got a bunch of them. And then we got a bonus rare uh, Swamp King there in foil. And we got our land. And then we got Zur. I don't think he's a mythic. And I don't like that one. Retro. I can't remember if Zur is a mythic or not. Things are sliding around a bit. Doesn't look like it according to the color. I'm, I'm a little off on those colors. Not uncommon, uncommon. And there's a harbor, which will be our first repeat on the land. And we have four packs to try and make any kind of value on this box. This was a really, I'm going to say, a bad box. Rare. Retro foil. 
Everybody was telling me open up draft boxes. They're better than the collector boxes. I don't see how. I do not see how. Rare. Shade. Dress and retro. And a Jester's Cap in retro. And here is our Lucky Last Pack. We are looking at a three Mythic box and a three Tudor box. So this is not a good box. <gasps> Force of Will. Wow. The very last pack. There we go. I got a Force of Will out of doing over a case worth of draft packs. And this is like a $50 card. So this will pay for half of the current value of the box, but a third of what I actually paid for the box. Retro. But there we go. I have the Force of Will for my collection. I really wanted the Richard Kane uh, art in the full version, but I will deal with this one. At least this one goes with the set. I was trying to complete the set with any version I could and finally pulled one. So there you go. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and all that fun YouTube stuff, and I will see you next time.